today I actually have a question for you because I read something that really resonates with me that in the book The Art of Living Bob Proctor shared a story but he said that I think it was in, in, in the Navy or the Army or something that they left them because they toughen you up mentally he said right but he said they left them with the idea or the mentality or something like that that discipline equals punishment and that's how I've that's my experience with discipline that's how it's been for me even though I've never been in the army or anything like that or I haven't had maybe such a challenging experience like that but for some reason everyone talks about discipline and I have a hard time with discipline everyone's saying like motivation doesn't work and nothing like the only thing that works is discipline right habits and discipline and doing it every single day no matter if you feel like doing it or not you just simply get up and do it and you make it a habit and you find ways of making it in a habit and there's whole books on that <laughs> and I get it I definitely understand and I know I know that the act of doing something every single day right that that discipline of I'm gonna do it no matter what I'm gonna do it like I know that that can definitely get you results um, but in my experience, like I have a hard time, maybe I start with a ton of motivation, a ton of motivation, and eventually, a couple weeks, three weeks, a month, or even later, but sometimes it doesn't last that long, I lose that motivation, but I can't stick to that discipline. I feel, I think in a way I feel like I'm punishing myself. Like, you don't really want to do this, but you have to right and I know that it can be for a beautiful goal sometimes we have a beautiful goal so we're like okay only discipline is gonna get me there but then I start to develop kind of like resentment towards that goal because that goal is making me do crap that I don't really want to do so I just wonder like how can we make that a better relationship with the goal with discipline right I remember when, uh, there was a time that I was working with my coach that I was like, I need zero motivation to do what I'm doing. I, I just, I was really determined and I, it, it was, I was surprised, like I was amazed. I didn't know what was going on, right? And I think the goal was so beautiful to me, so important to me that I didn't need outside motivation. I just found inner inspiration right so that discipline I think when it's combined with inspiration right that's when it's maybe more long-lasting and more sustainable but I think if it, you need outer motivation right which is okay but if you need motivation eventually that motivation is gonna go away so how can you stick to that discipline how can you stick to the routine and I know people that do tracking and I did that too I did like daily tracking of things but eventually I got sick of it eventually it did feel like punishment I don't know there's a part of me that really resists that discipline I know it goes deeper and I know I'm not going to go all to all the possible explanations of what could be going on but I want to share that with you because I know a lot of people struggle with that and some, I don't know, some people think oh, I, I, I need to get my shit together, I need to put my stuff, pull my uh, shit together and, and figure this out but it's not that easy it's not that easy. I think discipline and routine and habits is something that is very challenging. There's a reason why there's so many books on it and people still struggle with that, right? I don't know. I don't believe in like a lot of like seven step formulas for all that crap. Like, I don't know. We're human beings in an environment that is constantly changing, right? So I think, I don't know, those seven step formulas that always works no matter what, no matter where you live, no matter who you are, no matter how you... <laughs> interact with life like I think that's I don't know I don't know I think it's a very individual journey 
with discipline, with habits, with your life, with your journey, right? That's why I made a video a while ago on Facebook make, kind of making fun of like the seven steps to everything. There's seven steps and five steps for everything because someone in marketing said that odd numbers are more, I don't know, attractive to potential clients. Uh, so I think it's funny that everyone makes a five step process to overcome anything you can imagine. Uh, so I don't know why I'm sharing that right now, but uh, I don't know. I think that's video is getting long. No, um, I think that's what I'm going to share today about this. But I, I really wanted to share that because I've struggled my whole life with discipline. And I think a lot of people do. So if you struggle with that, maybe you can relate to that. So my question was, which I started with that and then I went all over the place. But what helps you with discipline? What helps you stay committed to something? What helps you stay on your path when it gets tough, when things show up? What helps you? What helps you stay committed? Um, and my battery is dying, so I'm gonna have to end this video right here before it gets cut off. So I just wanna know like, if it's a big dream or whatever it might be that helps you. Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear and more coming soon. So please subscribe and let me know if you have any other questions. Have a beautiful day.